You look at the club. As you go into, you know, the, 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 the as you do the commercial stuff with the, the albums and stuff like that, but then it leads into something else, okay, which is also very important to understand because it's really the genesis of the concept of streetwear, right? The now all of a sudden, like, well, if we can, if we resurface from the trains. What do we apply this to? And many of us were like, well, what's next? You know, somewhere, you know, some, some kids were in art school so they were getting formalized and saying well we can study architecture design I was a fashion design student and yep. art and design and and we were kind of like wayward like what happens when graffiti dies yeah and so when as it was dying Futura was already kind of setting yet another trajectory for the name and the brand so GFS comes into play GFS yeah please let's start with that okay so as you're saying, and, and, and not for nothing, Keith has showed us how to do that in the 80s with the pop-up shop, right? Keith's idea was yes, and much to Andy's sort of challenge, was that yeah, you can be a fine artist, you can delve into the commercial world, you can do products, you can put your name on something, you can make a product and put your name on it. Ben had 
sort of already done something where they did it some way, uh, like an architectural schematic of a separate car. And I saw it, I was like, that's clever. Because they found a bridge for me. Like, I saw that and I was like, that's the bridge. Because we all have this graffiti history. And yeah, we can't survive in the gallery. We're, we're actually too ahead of our time. Which took years to manifest. Because at the time, okay, so at the end of SC Studios, we had maybe 44 canvases were made by 42 different people. Somebody did two each or whatever. But so we had a really beautiful array. And, and the collection that Sam envisioned was made. And by the way, Sam's idea was we're doing this and we're archiving it. And we're going to revisit this in 10 years, in 20 years. And not for nothing, recently a very famous artist whose name will not be mentioned bought the whole. So, and God bless him buying it because he's going to do the right thing by it. Um, his name starts with a K. However, um, we did all that, and, and, and I did nothing but direct, I, I stretched all the canvases, I, I planned them, you know, uh, I was kind of like the main artist guy in that space, making anything available for whoever wanted to do whatever, and I, I, I didn't paint until the very end, like when everybody was done, I went and did a painting based on having witnessed everybody paint which was amazing, right? I saw all these, all, like, whatever was created during the, you know, studio hours, I was always, I, I opened and I closed. And I saw everything in that two month period. I saw everybody paint. I saw people painting left-handed. I saw people painting upside down. I saw everything. And really, it was uh, such an education for me as a, just a creative guy watching people work, which to me is still the, the beauty of any, like, Seeing someone do what they do, that's the essence. Like it could be a uh, theatrical performance, oh, look at the B-Boys, oh my god, look at him. Just watching someone do something is, is awesome. We're gonna, we're gonna move up a little bit, because now the brake pull car happens, Yeah. and then a couple... So wait, 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 let me just quickly say, so at the end of that season, I had realized, like, man, I can't compete. I cannot compete with all these guys. I mean, I was kind of okay with letters, but there were so many better style masters, you know, as far as the alphabet went. And I said, you know what? I'm going to try something different. And, by the way, I am Futura, and this kind of almost makes sense in, in like, well, what should Futura's work look like? Okay, should it be just derivative of, of him, and, and him, and him, and him, and him, and you? No. Let me go off on a tangent, so what was influencing that? Was it, was it modern art, or was it no. in your head? Yeah, it was, it's, it's always what's been in my head. And it was just about trying to find my own space. You know, like, just yeah. get somewhere that I'm not part... I, I mean, I always want to be part of it, but I want to also, people understand, yeah, I'm part of it, but I'm me. You know, right. I, 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 and, and I thought graffiti was very great at that, in that everyone's tag was completely unique. Right, and, and what's interesting is that, that when you started developing that painting, these these icono these icons, right? And you uh, you can better this the design. elements of my work? Yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, if you could kind of name some of them that you used. I mean, you know, towers. And the, yeah, the cranes, the which, cranes. Which, which kind of came from radio transmissions. And oh, by the way, prior to 1980 and all that, I spent four years in the US military. 